There are some performances that are so memorable and iconic, we can't help but think of their character. In a short time here, Merlin Santana accomplished a lot in his acting career. Before the age of 20, Santana had built a resume that most actors dream of. Santana was quickly making a name for himself in Hollywood. Things would work out for him even greater when he was cast as Romeo Santana on The Steve Harvey Show. For six seasons, Santana was able to showcase his versatile acting abilities to a wider audience and even earned two NAACP Image Award nominations for his performance. Unfortunately, Santana's career would be cut short when he was murdered in November of 2002 in Los Angeles. His impact on the scene will always be remembered, and that is why Merlin Santana is unforgotten. Merlin Santana was born on March 14, 1976 in Washington Heights, New York City. Because Washington Heights had a history of being a violent place to grow up in, Santana was pushed into show business by his mother in an attempt to keep him busy and off the streets after seeing too many young kids go down the wrong path. By the age of three, he began modeling for fast food commercials and never stopped working since. His first time on screen was an extra in a Woody Allen movie when he was just nine years old. In 1990, Santana made his Broadway debut in the play, Hey Little Walter. Now, one night, Bill Cosby saw the play and decided to cast Santana in the role of Stanley, Rudy's friend on the then-hit show, The Cosby Show. Law and Order, Sister, Sister, and Under One Roof were some of the shows Santana would take his talents to. Santana's first regular TV role was in the sitcom Getting By, where he acted alongside Family Matters Thelma Hopkins and The Cosby Show's Dion Richmond. The show would only last 31 episodes before its cancellation. In 1996, Santana was cast as Romeo on The Steve Harvey Show, which would become his most memorable role. On the show, Santana would share the screen with Kings of Comedies, Steve Harvey, and Cedric the Entertainer. Romeo was a popular student at Booker T. Washington High. He would constantly be an influence amongst his peers, much to the frustration of his art teacher, Steve Hightower, played by the one and only Steve Harvey. Santana was a stylish ladies' man at the school, and storylines would often follow Romeo's pursuit of a female student, despite him having a recurring girlfriend on the show. Romeo and Steve developed a father and son relationship on the show, with Steve doing his best to make sure his student succeeded. Romeo's best friend on the show was Stanley Kuznaki, better known as Bullethead. Now, the Steve Harvey show was a staple in the black community, and Santana's performance brought him to new heights as he brought heart and humor to the screen every week. Santana would catch the attention of many producers while on the Steve Harvey show. He was constantly offered work whenever the show was on break. Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Moesha, NYPD Blue, and Half and Half were some of the series Santana would make an appearance on. Santana also made it to the big screen, as well as in a small role in the movie Showtime starring Eddie Murphy and Robert De Niro. The Steve Harvey show would end its run in February of 2002. Now after his ending, Santana would enjoy writing and performing his own music, in which he would often make trips to a recording studio in LA's Crenshaw district. Unfortunately, on November 9, 2002, a trip to the studio would take a dark turn. Santana would end up being fatally shot in the back of the head while riding in his friend's car. Santana originally made plans to visit his family in New York City that weekend, but a last minute audition for a new sitcom kept him in LA. Before the shooting, Santana and friend Brandon Adams made a trip to the recording studio to work on music. Santana called a woman he met a few days prior to come over to the studio. The woman known as Monique King did visit the studio, but Adams noticed that she was being suspicious. King eventually left, but was seen getting into a black SUV. This didn't sit right with Adams, who told Santana what he saw, and they decided to leave for the night. When Adams and Santana got into their car, Adams noticed two men jogging towards them. The men fired, and a bullet traveled through the back seat into Santana's head, killing him instantly. The police would bring in Monique King as a witness, and their interrogation of her got off to a slow start. King told police a number of lies that would contradict Adams' story. She lied about her name, residence, and date of birth. Eventually, police found out that King was 15 years old, and they were able to trace King's cell phone records, which eventually led them to Santana's killer. Apparently, Monique told the shooter that Santana and Adams tried to rape her. King was never able to explain to the cops why she made that accusation. According to police, they suspect the whole incident was a robbery gone wrong. 
Santana's killer was convicted of first degree murder for the shooting and the attempted murder of Adams. He was sentenced to three life sentences plus 70 years in prison, while the accomplice got a 23 year sentence for voluntary manslaughter and assault with a deadly weapon. King would end up being sentenced to juvenile detention in which she remained there until she was 21. She has since been released and her whereabouts are unknown. Santana was only 26 years old at the time of his death and already had his sights set on producing and directing. I have my own script. It's a true story about friends that I grew up with. I have these nine bullets on my arm representing nine friends of mine who are locked up and they won't be seeing the light of day. We have their story in a script form and are currently pitching it based on the true story and I play the lead role in that. I'm looking forward to possibly direct and produce on that project. Merlin Santana's life was cut short when he still had so much more to give. Fans love tuning in each and every week to the Steve Harvey Show to see Santana's charismatic attitude shine through. Funny, talented, and confident, on screen he was the man all the ladies wanted to be with and all the guys wanted to be. And that's why Merlin Santana will always remain unforgotten.